uh, excuse me. I am too lazy to go change this sweatshirt. Hopefully you can't tell. <laughs> There's got a little breakfast on it this morning. It's fine, everything's fine. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy February, and with a new month comes a new favorites video. And I'm not gonna lie, I have been pretty good like just not overspending the last couple of months. I felt like I was really trying to avoid trying new things because that's like what gets me. You know, like when I see a new product, I'm like, oh, I just want to try it. I want to try it. Leading up to the move and my surgery and everything, I felt like I wasn't buying a lot in December. And then January came, bitch, I was off the freaking rails, okay? First of all, because I was so bored. I couldn't work out, I couldn't do anything, and I just, I was spending McGee over here. So we got some good stuff in this favorites video. Grab yourself a little snack. As always, everything will be listed down below, and let's just jump on into it. I'm gonna start in the beauty category, get this category out of the way, because I went a little crazy this month, I'm not gonna lie. And the first thing I wanna talk about is actually what I have on my lips right now. This is from Revision Skincare. We can thank Surgeon Daddy for this one, and it is the Youthful Lip Re Replenisher. I have been on the hunt to replace my Laneige because it is not cruelty free and I really struggle with the in the purse ones you know I like to keep a little bit in my fanny and I just they either don't last I was trying the elf juicy lip oils which are pretty good for the price like very very affordable as a side note this is so overpriced like I'm just gonna tell you right now it's very overpriced but look at these look at these juicy lips okay can you see this this is, I love it. I love when lips look like watery and juicy. I'm just, I'm such a hoe for a juicy lip, but it's not sticky. That's the biggest thing. So I was struggling with some of the other in the purse ones because they were feeling sticky. It was giving like cheap. And this has been the only thing so far that I have found that I love and stays on my lips for so long. It's got a little bit of a minty smell to it. It's so comfortable, long wearing, not greasy or sticky and you can put it on literally anything and it makes your lips look so freaking nice so i just love this product i just don't love the price we are on the topic of lip things though this from too faced this little kissing jelly gloss is an oil slash gloss hybrid this was trending on the tiktok and this is the watermelon one i don't know how much it's going to give since it's going on top of that but this does have like a dark pink red tint to it. So if you want something with a little bit of color, I really like this. This is also not sticky, but I just, I don't think it lasts as long as the revision one. Moving on, we have two new Tula products and I'm so excited because I kind of feel like Tula's been a little bit of a snooze fest lately. And I personally have very dry skin. So when they release these, this is the H2 Oasis Instant Skin Revitalizing Mask. I actually tried this first impressions on my Instagram did the mask and everything. And the reason I like this is because one, it doesn't have a smell. You know me with smells and like skincare products. But two, you don't have to wash it off. So like, I don't wanna waste the product, but it kind of looks like a jelly almost. Ignore my spray tan hands, I need to wash my spray tan. I'm gonna be like darkening throughout this video. So all you do is put this on dry skin and you let it sit for like 10 minutes and then you kind of just like wipe a little bit off. I use a towel because I, the thought of rubbing a dry tissue on my skin makes me wanna vomit. But I use a towel, wiped it off and then you kind of just like massage in the excess. And when I tell you my skin looked so just like plump and hydrated, I had no negative reaction to this whatsoever. Sometimes I feel like with products that are leave on, it can be iffy for some people, especially if you have sensitive skin or acne prone skin. I didn't break out from this. It, what was crazy about it though is that it like the ma the makeup that I did on top of it actually looked so good because I was assuming it was gonna pill you know from like rubbing in the excess and it didn't and it looked so stinking good so I absolutely love this it says this thirst quenching quick fix mask rapidly helps to re revive tired and dehydrated skin by plumping it up with hydration use blah 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 refreshing mask to bring your glow back just to life in ten minutes I 
freaking love this highly recommend if you have dry skin and then in the same like little release for dry skin they also did a bedtime bright vita charge overnight brightening treatment now this one i feel like you're going to have to wait a little bit longer to see results from because it is with vitamin c so it's going to help like some of those um sunspots dark spots which as of right this moment i'm not currently struggling with that a lot but it has a similar texture like you see how it's kind of got that like jelly to it and it oops and it doesn't again it just doesn't have an overwhelming smell and it just sits so nicely on the skin both of these in combination if you are a dry skin girly or if you want to add a vitamin c into your routine i personally don't like layering it in the morning because I don't know like I just feel like well if I'm gonna do makeup let me preface that if I'm just doing nothing I put it on but if not I don't feel like the vitamin C sits well under my makeup so I think this is like a great alternative to use at nighttime which we got so much makeup products this month we got two very affordable things this month that I want to talk about I'm so excited so these again were a TikTok trending I spent so much time on TikTok this month because I was so bored not gonna lie That's why I had to stop doing that because I, it was just getting me the trending things were getting me so these are the NYX Pro Fix Sticks the color correcting sticks and I got orange and green so the orange one the reason I got this was for my bruising when I started being able to put makeup on top of my lovely dark bruises I really needed a super dark orange color corrector and this was really affordable but it had super awesome reviews so let me just show you consistency wise on this it's really nice it blends really really easily and I actually have it on underneath just because it's with good for like dark circles anyways and then I got the green one which is for redness so any spots on my face that I have picked um, I just put a little bit of this guy on it and I blend it in with my finger now it is gonna leave obviously a green hue so you want to do this underneath your makeup like I had one right here put it on let it sit for a minute buff it in and then you go in with your makeup I really like these little guys and they're super affordable like I said so if you don't have a color corrector that you really like I think these are a great option and then um, I am late to the game on this I know I'm able to try the new, I forget which one came after this, but e.l.f. dropped the reformulated version of something else that's supposedly really good, but it's been sold out everywhere. I was like, you know what, let me just try this because I've been using that Hourglass Vanish Primer, the little guy, for so long, and I actually really love that primer, but I was like, I just want to try a different one. So I got this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, and if you are on the TikTok, you probably already know that this is like a staple TikTok find. So this is kind of one of those products where, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, that's like a horrible, yeah, I'm like trying to test the stickiness of it. This is a gripping primer. Like you can stick whatever to your face after you put this on. I personally have never been a big e.l.f. girl, but one of the things I committed to trying this year was more affordable makeup and skincare options, and I have been pleasantly surprised, okay? This Power Grip Primer is legit, and it definitely keeps my makeup on all day, which, speaking of, out of all of the foundations that I have used in my lifetime, which that's a lot of foundation, okay? The Lady Gaga House Labs foundation is probably one of the best formulated just absolutely stunning foundation that I have ever used in my entire life so whenever I get a new foundation it's hard for me to compare because I just love that one so much and I use it pretty much year round unless I'm just doing like light gym makeup you know what I'm using a CC cream I'm talking like glam makeup you know so Fenty dropped this and I again really was not a big fan of some of her makeup products i just they didn't live up to the hype for me so i had low expectations for this and this is the uh, fenty beauty ease blur and smooth tint stick i don't know if she considers this a foundation stick or it's supposed to be like you know a skin tint you know how skin tints are like really in right now but not in a liquid you know form it's in a stick foundation and I was shocked at how much I liked this. I have used this every single day since I bought it again because I really you know wasn't able to go to the gym so I've been doing a lot of makeup after my bruising healed and this is like the smoothest 
just perfect. This is in the shade, by the way, 6-3-G-1. I feel like it is such a perfect match for me. It glides on like butter. It blends so well. And again, I have dry skin, so I you know, sometimes cream stick foundations are kind of iffy for me because they like settle or it looks cakey. Not this one. I am wearing it right now, of course, because I wanted to show you guys. And I just, it just gives such a nice glow and sheen to the skin. Now, granted, my neck is a different shade because I am self-tanned right now. <laughs> but it feels so lovely like it goes everything goes on so beautifully with this base and I just cannot say enough good things about it so I'm I'm very impressed and I'm, I'm not gonna lie I haven't even touched the Lady Gaga one since I bought this one more beauty thing of the day and this is nude sticks nudies matte and glow core all over face blush color in magenta magic Bailey's hair on this but it's <laughs> this middle portion of the nude sticks is supposed to be very hydrating and I mean you can even just see when I put that on my hand it has such a beautiful sheen to it and I personally love glowy blushes it's what I'm wearing today I did not own a magenta purpley blush I kind of grabbed this on a whim not knowing that it was gonna be really really good and one again I have used this on top of the Fenty Beauty stick every single day. I love it. I love the combination. It goes so nicely over the foundation. It's nice even over CC cream. When I wasn't able to put anything on my face, I just would like put my ring finger in it and kind of just dab it on the apples of my cheeks. Beautiful. It doesn't have that like blush look to it. At least to me anyway, it doesn't. It looks more like rosy cheek and that's kind of hard to accomplish with a cream blush I feel you know so I don't know I, I wish it was bigger that's my only complaint about this but I have always liked nudie sticks I, I call it nudie sticks I'm pretty sure it's just nude sticks that I got nudies I like their um contour sticks their bronzing sticks are really good some of their lip and eyeshadow cream sticks are really good so I just was like you know what? let me give it a, a try because I don't like matte blushes beautiful love it love it love it highly recommend but i haven't tried any other colors so if you have let me know well this isn't really like makeup this is perfume but i am introducing a new favorite perfume of the month and this is from the brand fleur amber haze and it's funny because again this was a whim purchase don't you love when you like grab something not knowing how it's going to be and then you use it and every time i have this on and i walk past someone they're like oh what are you wearing that smells good and i was like oh it was so cheap i'm pretty sure this little guy was only like ten dollars or something from sephora it was the last one and i'm funny like that if i see one thing that's like the last on the shelf I'm like, ooh, that must be good. I should buy it. <laughs> I don't even know why. I, I don't even love the missing persons. I have that back there on my little perfume thing. I don't love that one. And everybody raved about it, but I just didn't like it. I didn't like the way it smelled on me. I mean, it's okay, but it's definitely not my favorite. This is more of, let's see, top notes. <clears throat> Saffron, Jasmine Absolute, Amber, Vanilla, Musk, and Oak Moss. So this is a musky, warm, amber vanilla but not giving bath and body works because the vanilla one of this that again everyone seems to love in my opinion smells like the vanilla spray from bath and body works that we all used to wear in middle school i don't know i, I don't get it but this one does not it smells rich it smells beautiful it also makes your hair smell really good so i love this perfume i think this is a nice like transition into spring perfume because I'm not really a big floral girl. I like I like vanilla and muskies. So give me your perfume recommendations because I really struggle with like sticking to one perfume and I feel like I buy these little things way more often. Like the little mists, not actual perfumes. I should have just called this the beauty favorites of the month. <laughs> I'm still going. This is this is like kind of it's it's I would consider this fitnessy in a sense. A while ago I was asking about natural deodorants and a lot of you suggested native and I had tried native before but the stick and I hated it. I don't know what it is about the stick but it made me smell so bad. I tried multiple scents and didn't like them and then again this was the last one on the shelf and I smelled it it's the native uh, deodorant and body spray coconut vanilla paraben free aluminum free and I was like okay let me just give this a try because this smells different than the um, actual stick does you have to you have to know going into it that it's a natural deodorant okay so it's not gonna give you the same preventative measures as like secret 
stress one. That's the one I like because I'm always stressed. No, um, you know, that one's like a really, really good deodorant. This one though, I had no hopes. I had absolutely zero hopes on this because of how bad every single natural deodorant that I've tried has ever made me smell. So I use this. Now, I am gonna preface this also by saying I am not doing super high intense CrossFit workouts. And when I was in my phase of trying natural deodorants, I still was. So that could be also why, because your girl was sweating, okay? I'm not sweating profusely with these workouts, although boxing, I did use it during boxing and I didn't smell that bad. So I really encourage you to try the spray if you've tried the stick and didn't love it. Maybe I'm just not a stick gal. And most importantly, this did not irritate my armpits because I've been having a serious issue with that lately. And the Rio de Janeiro one, I loved the smell of it so much, but it kept giving me rashes in my armpits. So I was really sad about it. But so far, so good with this. And I think that out of all the natural deodorants I've tried, this one is definitely the best. So let's move on to the food category, which is minute this month unfortunately i really did not try a lot of new things this month in terms of food i just really did not have an appetite to be honest with you especially because i wasn't really working out so much so i feel like my food category is severely lacking and for that i do apologize however i did have one good find from the costco this month and that is these dang reese's reese's covered animal crackers bitch they are so good i I have literally eaten this whole bag the whole month of January. I went through it. I love it. The biggest pain in the ass, of course, you know, I'm gonna mention the serving size, four. Four animal crackers. Who's eating four animal crackers, okay? So you really, really have to have some self-discipline with these dang animal crackers. I'm not even lying because they are so freaking good. <laughs> so let me know if you tried them or if you love them, any other like Reese's products. One thing that I was looking for was those um, frozen bananas that were covered in the chocolate peanut butter. Ugh, I wanted those so bad, but I haven't been able to find them. So that has been like my, my snack of the month, but I have literally nothing else of substance to provide for you for the food. I wanna throw in this little Fleo quarter zip. I can't remember if I mentioned this last month in my December favorites, but I love this thing. I wish I got it in more colors. This is just my favorite, like the emerald green colors. I think they go really well with like my eye color and hair color, and it's so comfortable. It's kind of like that Alu Lemon dupe for the quarter zip pullover or whatever. Love this. I've been wearing it all January and their flare pants, their flare leggings with this. So stinking cute. Also I've come out with some new sets recently and I'm really not usually a, a set girl, like matchy matchy, but this uh, black one, the black with gray swirls, so cute. And that's a new bra top that they have and I actually really like it. So it doesn't squeeze me on the lats, which is amazing. So now that I spent the entire favorites video talking about beauty things, hopefully you are someone that buys beauty products because <laughs> that's pretty much all I had this month. But I do want to mention two things, two other rando things, shows actually. The first being American Nightmare. If you haven't seen this documentary on Netflix, you need to watch it. If you saw it, let me know what you think in the comments. And the other show that we just got into that we've been binging is uh, Fool Me Once. Right? That's what it's called. Fool Me Once. Yeah. On Netflix. And I, I really didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to be able to get into it, but I absolutely love it. And I always mention this for like my crime documentary girlies out there. It's one of those ones where you have to pay attention. And I just think it's really, really good. If you have any other show recommendations, let me know. But that's what I have been watching as of recently. That, my friends is my favorites, mostly beauty. So I'm sorry, <laughs> I went a little crazy this month with the beauty stuff, but I did have some good finds. So let me know if you try them, if you like them, as always, of course, leave me your suggestions and your favorites down below. That's all I have for you in this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and following and supporting. Let me know what you wanna see next and hopefully we'll be back to meal prepping and planning and doing all that fun stuff. So I cannot wait for some routine. I'm ready for this month of February, so. That's a wrap. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and click subscribe and I'll see you next Monday.